James and I just got into Peoria, Illinois. As you've heard about a thousand times, I left my bait box with Mike and Mark when we were in Kentucky. Idiot! Idiot. So, I figured something that would be kind of cool to do today would be a Bass Pro Shops musky challenge. I don't think anybody's done one of these yet for musky. Plenty of them for bass, but none for musky. So, I'm not even sure if they have any musky baits. I was checking online to see if they had them available in the store and it was questionable. So we're gonna run in here and see if they have anything at all. Then we're gonna be fishing some strip mines here in Illinois that my buddy Jeff is putting us on. He's actually out right now. They've already boated a fish or maybe two, but they've had quite a few follows too. So that's what we're doing today. We just took showers, feeling nice and fresh. I'm feeling pumped. How are you feeling? Yep, Game of Thrones last night. Woo! He was going wild. I don't watch well, Game I of love Thrones. watching he was it going by crazy. myself because then I can talk during the show and I don't get yelled at. Yes! They actually have musky baits. We're good. Lighters. So these are the ones that I was, I caught mine on that one. Yellow? Second. Yeah. This is the same color I caught those two fish on, but it's a little bit bigger. So I had the small one. So since we have this one, we just need to get some super glue and some more tails. But I am going to get the bigger one too. So that's number one. Right, number one. Still white. Let's go with the mini. Mini. mini Plus I think you already have the big one anyways. I don't think I have one floating around. No, but like in here. Oh yeah. Here. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's white. All right, so number two, we got the Medusa Mini by Chaos Tackle. We're gonna work that. I know I, I don't, I don't think I threw one in Kentucky, but you guys were throwing this around. Yeah. Mike got bit on the, I think it was the regular size yeah. one. So, so I that. think we're good. We got three baits. We got a glide bait, crank bait, and Medusa. Mm -hmm. All right, boys. Uh, thank you. Here we go, here we go. Oh my, first off, let's take a notice of this. We'll show you later what our pliers look like, but you see how that goes? That's something that doesn't work on our pliers. And it's good friends. Mini white Dusa. Super D! We got a soft tail, seven and a half inch Phantom. Uh, we got another with Invader series. It's a uh, action invader. tail. Shallow Invader, pretty neat looking thing. It's a crank that you actually should throw this around today. And Cast and wine, baby. We have uh, two liters. Two liters. So that should work for today. There's only two of us. So we only need one liter each. Right. So I'll we're heading over to go musky fishing. This is the Bass Pro Shops. What you looking at, lady? Musky challenge. And Bass Pro Shop musky challenge. So this was a, we'll say a hundred dollar musky challenge. And a hundred dollars is a little steep, but. Musky, musky baits? baits? They're expensive. Like the cheapest one I got was 18 bucks, I think. They're they're pricey baits. It's not like bass baits, that's for sure. And then once you get into more of the custom glides, you're not gonna find anything less than like 40 bucks, 30 bucks. Yeah. Let's go out there. We got about 30 minutes to go and then we'll get out on the water. James's first musky. That's what we're looking for today. That's the goal for the day. Catch a fish, specifically James catch a fish. First musky ever. Alright folks, we are out here in the good old state of Illinois, uh, home of the Blues Brothers and the Chicago Blackhawks. We are out here looking for some muskies and today's weather report brought to you by James and uh, the wonderful hair that I have and the pilot shower that I took this morning. So we just waited for about 40 minutes, it was raining a little bit, we had thunderstorms kind of on and off calling for the rest of the day. Uh, towards the later part of the afternoon. So right now we should have about three hours of clarity of good weather We're gonna get out here. We just started talking to um, a buddy of Matt's uh, Just keep casting and he gave us a little bit of a tip on Where to look for him and we are hoping to get myself James freaking Kelly his first first musky and if we do that we'll call it a success We're also you know Two bass rods, two musky rods. So, you know, we're gonna try to get some bass as well. Today's weather report is, like I said, thunderstorms. High of about high 70s, maybe 80 degrees. Um, should be a good day though. 
Hopefully these things can uh, start biting and we can catch some big ones. See you out there. James is starting with the white dusa. I'm gonna start off with the phantom. So these fish are in post spawn and supposedly they're eating smaller baits so I might have to downsize and throw the smaller phantom that I already had. We'll see though. I really want James to catch a muskie today. James's first muskie. I really want to catch a muskie. I have a top water floating around that you could definitely use if you want. Oh my god, fish, fish, fish! Yes! Are you kidding me, dude? That was like the first five minutes! That was insane! Woo! Oh, it's a decent one, too! Yeah, drop the net, put it, just put it in the water. I'll slide her in. Lift, lift the net, lift the net. There you go, now keep it down. Give me some, dog! Yes! Just holding the rod. Oh, you can set the tail. Look at that out. Look at the tail, dude. They did yeah, just spawn. On. Beautiful fish. Literally, first five minutes. That's the quickest I've ever caught a muskie in my life. I'm shaking right now. Caught it on the Phantom Glider. A little bit bigger, seven and a half inch. God, this is an angry fish. That was a really good fight, too. So sick. But uh, we're going to get her back and get James on his first muskie. Shot right off. Don't freaking touch me with them slimy hands, Loving boy. these musky, man. So sick. All right, ah. now you get to work on that. Yeah. Sweet job, it's, man. It's, uh, yeah, dude, awesome. that was, I'm gonna give you this. All right, well, Bass Pro Shops challenge is done. We got our fish, so we're getting out of here. Just kidding, we're gonna get back out here. We're gonna catch some more, you know. If we can keep on like this, in the first couple minutes before the next round of storms come, hopefully they don't come, but if they do, that'll be awesome if we can snag them in this little bit of time that we have. So let's get back out there. Don't worry, I got you. That was quick, bro. It was like eight casts. Where'd you, where was that? Right up here on the bank, like right before that little cut. You haven't gone on this side yet? No, we're gonna circle around this way. Okay. Go well, hit it. Go, yeah. So mad, bro. Smoked that bait. I like instantly gave it to him because I really want him to catch one. Dude. Oh, he's, he's getting them for sure. Yeah. That was Jeff with Just Keep Casting. He's actually the one that hooked us up with this spot. Go check him out. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. They've caught one today and they've seen, they've lost count of how many they've seen. 12? Okay, so they've seen 12 fish. They haven't been out that much longer than us, maybe like a few hours, but it's a good sign. Yep. So I gave James the glider I was just throwing. I switched back to the smaller one. We're fishing really, really shallow grass lines here along this bank. That fish was right on the bank. It was probably like three or four pops into that retrieve. But these baits are going to be a little bit easier to get over this grass than the Dusa or any of the other two that we have right now. So if we get into some deeper water or cleaner banks, I'll switch over to one of those. But I mean, if they're eating gliders, we're eating gliders. <laughs> eating glider, we're eating gliders. They're, we're throwing gliders. Oh, fish on me, fish on me, fish on me. Oh, I spooked him. That was terrible. That was so bad. Why did I do that? That was pretty sick though. Well, what I did was I didn't, I left too much slack out and I like slammed the rod in the water. It spooked him. Update, Panda Watch. Really it's update Musky Watch, but let's see. So we got, Matt's got the one early and we got to follow and we just got some more intel from Ryan. We're gonna wait for like maybe an hour before we go hit that spot up, just to give her some time. So hopefully we can do that, but we found some other spots. Just gonna work it. Saw some other boats go back down here, but they're bass fishing, so we shouldn't have any issues with them. Should be fine. Yeah. It's a really similar area too. Yeah, 520, or I guess it's 423 actually, because uh, we're 
back another time zone and the winds picked up a little bit again it took a little breather and it looks like we're gonna be cloudy but we got a few hours until the possible thunderstorms hit us again so let's go get ourselves another mooski Got a fish? Keep. I mean, it didn't fall to the, it was like, as I saw a brown. Yeah, that was a fish. James has had a follow. Weird. Cool, right? I mean, it would be cooler if I saw the whole fish. <laughs> Did you see like a flash? It's just like this brown, like, orb behind my bait. Yep, that was a fish. Oh, she's behind you. She, oh, dude, she's right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. She's right here. She's right there. Do you see her? She's right there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That was a bigger fish. Didn't look tiny. She was sitting right behind it. Wow, I'm surprised she didn't eat. Damn. Yeah, that was 100% a fish, dude. You moved her again. <laughs> Take the front front. Get him. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. Right here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold her down. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry. The net was flipped. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. And of course, it's right when your GoPro turned off. That was an amateur net job. That was completely my fault. Right, there's going to be more. There's nothing you could have done. That was, oh, I couldn't so get to the net. Of course, I had the GoPro. GoPro dies. And then, no, in my head, I'm like, this is the chance. I'm not even going to buy, like, next cast. Yeah, it was literally, like, 30 seconds after. Where am I casting? Is it this We're going to work down this bank and then work down that all the way to the point. Last spot of the day. Oh, my God. I'm still so deflated. <sighs> So, quick update on James's almost first musky. The thing was like literally right here, y'all look, and smacked it right at the boat. Had it on. Matt went for the net, but the net was all jacked up. So, I tried to keep it low and not shaky, shaky, shaky. And by the time the net was good, it popped off. And I may have said some few, few words my mom would not have been proud of me for, but. Yeah, I understand why people like musky fishing because it's an adrenaline rush and then it's like when you miss it like that, it just, like I told Matt, feels like a bad breakup, you know, it just sits there. Thank God the caps are playing though and they scored and that kind of raised me up, but if you can't tell by my tone, I'm not the happiest camper right now, but this sh it was it was pretty gnarly. It was awesome. The fact that it was right by the boat too, it just came out of nowhere and it was like, well, first off, the GoPro goes off, but mine dies. So in my head, I'm like, I'm gonna catch a fish now, of course, and I'm not gonna mess with it. And then, what do you know? I got a bite. And I was like, musky, musky, musky! And Matt was like, what? It was, it was, it was, it was chaotic. Should've done better, it was a pretty big fish. You did too. fine, you yeah. did fine, yeah, it was a good fish. It was decent for sure, but get back out there. Yeah. We're gonna, gonna get you this one we missed earlier. I'm gonna put around and hopefully catch something so it can raise my spirits, but goodness gracious, that was pretty freaking awesome. Pretty 
pretty sure it was on this one. I'm gonna back us up just a little bit more. I don't think you need to get like up against the bank, uh, but because that fish is probably sitting on like one of these outer edges or in one of the holes of the grass, definitely cast towards it, but like where that super, super thick stuff is, I don't think they're up there. Yeah, maybe. There you go. This still might be in that thick. Oh! 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 Get it back out. He didn't. He didn't get hooked. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out. We're gonna spin around. That was so cool. We're gonna go around. And that fish is gonna eat. Ah! Sure, it didn't get hooked. It didn't get hooked. It's fine. The other one won't eat. This one will eat. Did it scare you? Because it scared me. I'm just like so out of it. My head's not even thinking. Dude, straight. you just almost had a shot at another one. No, it I smoked didn't. it. That was insane. That fish came all the way up to the surface and ate the bait. I guess he missed the hooks though. That oh, was so cool. I'm still like working like a half second for <laughs> Try to work it fast, just the whole way. Keep it going. Yep. Because that fish wants something fast. Oh, got her. Oh. <laughs> so freaking fun if you can't tell by my voice. I'm having a blast. Oh my god. What? It's just grass. Oh yeah. <laughs> my heart sunk and for just a second and I realized what it was. And it was like uh Alright, three more casts. Oh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. He came off? That's gonna be it. was a very, very exciting day of musky fishing. I've gotta say that James never having caught a musky, that those three opportunities were like super cool to be a part of and to be there. I feel really bad about that one fish I couldn't get in the bag quick enough. It was flipped over the top and I felt like if I threw it in the water, it just would have made it even worse. So I flipped the net back over so it opened up and then by that time, the fish was already gone. It was very cool to see him get super involved in this style of fishing and that kind of bug definitely bit him, no doubt. Like those fish have kind of been haunting him the last few days, but I'll let him tell you about that. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking about which rods and reels I was using, me and James both in this video. So the yellow and black rod that I was using is a Cashin musky rod. I'm gonna leave it linked down in the description below. It's really good for light gliders and light bucktails. It's a smaller rod, it's 711. Super, super light, and it's their first musky rod ever, so they're gonna improve it over time, and I, I mean, I think it's great. That was the first musky I've caught on it. 
and it worked perfect. So I'm pretty stoked. I was also using a Daiwa Lexa 300 with that. It screams like a banshee, it's very loud, it's old, but it gets the job done. I only really have two musky setups and I wanted James to throw the better one just because the Tranx 300 with that Chaos Tackle Rod is bad. It's amazing. That's my favorite setup of all time. But the Chaos Tackle Rod's an 8.6. I highly recommend both of those if you guys are looking for a setup. They're both under 200 bucks and the reels. I believe you can find the Daiwa Alexa for like 150 and the Tranks is a little bit pricier. I think that's like 250 or something like that. But if you were to buy one musky reel, Tranks 300 or 400, a lot of guys go with the four. It's a little bit bigger, has a higher line capacity. But I mean, for most of the musky fishing that I do, I'm not throwing super heavy baits or anything like that. So I just went with the three. I'm waiting for James to get out of the gas station real quick. And I'll let him talk to you guys about his day and his experience and his first true encounter with some hungry musky. My day a couple of days ago it was a good day overall. I mean, it's stung, but you know, I've been stung a few times on this trip. Does it still sting? Uh, I just, I've com compartmentalized it a lot down deep, like I always do with my feelings. So it comes up, but I immediately push it right back down and start thinking of, uh, I don't know, the Redskins draft picks or anything else. Uh, it was, it was awesome though. The thing that keeps me level is like the whole time is like he keeps, fish of 10,000 casts, but it's like, I go in there like, yeah, you always set your expectations low, so then you can always exceed them, right guys? Uh, that's a James motto of life, and it's worked 50% of the time. Knowing that the likelihood of us actually landing one was slim, the fact that I had three on, it was just a hell of a freaking adrenaline rush. You'll see in the GoPro, just to talk, you know, you hear it beep, 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 and like we didn't say anything because I was like, I don't want to say anything, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, this thing's gonna cut out, and that's literally what happened. Is it, it was, cut, and yeah. that fish bit right at the boat, and you're like, musky, musky, musky. You know, it was it, how it should have been. Um, now we know to make sure the net's good before we cast. Yeah. Uh, because it was right there, and that would have been awesome to get a musky on. What would have truly been my first full day of actually like musky fishing? Do you want to do more musky fishing? Yeah, I mean, of course. It's just like, but I don't know if anything's gonna quite match that until we get north. Yeah. Because of a how many we saw, and yeah, we got a little hint, a little little, hey, go check this area out. In our defense, though, is we knew the vicinity, but we didn't really listen to directions. We just knew like go up this cut. There's a beaver dam, or a beaver hut. And we're like, okay, we don't remember which side he... So we just started casting, and it was just a really cool experience. I got juiced, and y like y'all saw in the video, like the the adrenaline high to go into straight, like... Nothing. <laughs> just, oh, it was hard. I'm not going to lie. Like, my energy just got sucked out after that. Right. Like, that first cast, you could see, like, yeah, I wanted to, but, like, my heart wasn't in that cast. Did, it you, was ever, like, did you ever think fishing would do that to you? Yeah, probably. Okay. I mean, it's just like bass. I don't know what it is. Like bass fishing is like, I'm not that great at it. Uh, you'll see in a few other videos coming up that there is a day where not the reason he chose me to come on this trip was for my fishing <laughs> IQ or intangibles, but uh, it's all a learning experience. It's a lot of fun. Um, something about this, those big fish. And exactly. even like the same thing with the smallies. Yeah. It's that fight. Right. Okay. Smallies or musky? Oh. Probably smallies. Muskies are like, they're fun, but like, I know I'm gonna get a, a, at least one smallie. Oh yeah, true. true. You I know, you. that Ned Rig life, but. That Ned Rig life. So I think this is where we're gonna leave this video. It was a lot of fun really getting out there. I definitely got hooked. We'll leave you guys out on this, and uh, we'll see you next time on the SBNJ Fishing Channel. SBNJ, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. We'll see you on the next one.